With CSGO devs being mysterious as usual and not giving us any information as to when the Antwerp sticker capsules and other items from the Major are going to be removed from the game, we got to take it up to ourselves to figure it out. So today, I'm going to be looking at past dates of how long sales lasted, and based off that, not only how long this sale should last, also how many days of sale being in-game can affect prices for investors. So as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just before we get into it, check out how to save 30% buying CSGO skins with the sponsor Skinport, where you can easily save up to 30% buying all your CSGO skins. For example, you can get an op graphite with some really nice and expensive Furious stickers for only 148 bucks on the skin port, where a normal one without any stickers on the Steam market is going to be $60 more at 208 So you could get yourself a sick craft on skin port plus save $60 in the process. Skimport is also the most trusted CSGO marketplace site with over 9,000 reviews on Trustpilot, making it a quick and easy process to buy and sell skins. They also have over 560,000 skins on their site, so you won't struggle to find the skins, knives, cases, anything that you're looking for. So overall, be sure to sign into Skimport today with that link in the description, but for now, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first off, let's just talk about when the sale should end, based on the last few times at least. Starting with RMR obviously being an oversupplied mess, it was in game for 113 days, but quote unquote only with 44 days that it was on its 75% off sale. RMR is partially a weird situation because it wasn't really tied to a major event that happened, so I guess Valve just kind of took that as a reason to keep it in game for a lot longer than normal. But if we compare that to the Stockholm 2021 stickers, obviously a more realistic comparison, they actually have the longest sale record of 49 days in game. So it looks like we've got plenty of time left with this sale. If I had to guess and when I'll be buying, it'll definitely not be after this month, like it will be before this month. And I will definitely be buying before the sale has been going on for 30 days just to be completely safe, even though I imagine these things are going to be in game for at least 40. But it's impossible to guess an exact date, so there's no reason to play around it. This time around, the 75% off sale started on June 2nd, by the way. So before the end of the month is when I'll most definitely be buying. And as I covered in some of my recent videos, if you guys haven't seen them already, what I'll be buying will most likely be based on the supply on the market a few weeks after the original sale date. So we can get a decent idea of what's the slowest supply capsule. That's the only reason I'm waiting in the first place, just for the record. Now, both Stockholm and Antwerp both have sales that aren't exactly short and have raised concerns. A lot of people have compared it to RMR, stating if it gets past 45 days, that it's almost another RMR situation. A guy named Hurricane Herbert pointed out that a lot of people said this about Stockholm. Well, he just got refuted by this guy who says it'll just be true this time and just absolute giga chad move refuses to elaborate at all after he says that which i find really funny but it brings up the argument that people really think this will be the same as rmr the reason i cover this is because not only is there a fear from rmr being so bad now and people think that there might be a repeat of that again but there's also a fear because Valve is making these sales longer. And that since Stockholm did so well, it won't happen twice, which once again is why I want to wait and see exactly what supply looks like so we get a better idea. Because to be completely honest, it's really hard to tell exactly where we're at right now until we get a rough idea on supply. So overall, as to how this 40 or so expected days can affect the price of these stickers, I think it really just depends on how afraid people are of past events like RMR. And speculation that because Stockholm did so well that, oh, it can't happen twice, when there's really no evidence to back that up yet. If we look at the numbers of hollows on the market per capsule, starting with the legends, we can see that there's no more than 300 of any of them. Most of them are in the hundreds, and it'll most likely be the most supplied capsule since legends always is. So even being the most supplied capsule, most likely it doesn't even seem like it's oversupplied. There's only a couple hundred of each of these stickers. As for the Challenger's capsule, there's way less quantity in its hollow stickers, much less than the Legends capsule which makes me really hopeful, and then the Contenders finally seems extremely low in supply, even with some standout stickers as well that are doing pretty decent price wise like 9Z and Outsiders, people really seem to like them. Plus, there's less than 100 on the market of some of these stickers, so arguably some of these stickers and some of these capsules are already looking really good in my opinion. 
Also, this is a decent way to get an idea of what supply should look like, and I'll be using these numbers to determine it entirely if we don't get a better idea when more come onto the market after the sale. So I just really want to see how many more Legends capsules there are than the other two and decide if I want to buy stuff like Cloud9 stickers or Legends capsules based off that. But yeah, besides all that, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. So as always, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, check out Skimport to start saving tons of money buying CSGO skins. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.